Welcome to the first AstroVision YouTube forecast with Trisha Real, the real deal. Most full moons illuminate whether we're on the right track or need to change course. And this is partly why I changed my audio podcast to the YouTube format. I'm planning to tune in on new moons and full moons just twice a month. I have a few friends from the Zephram Gates world who will be helping me out. And that's right, we're going to help keep Trish on track. She tends to get a little geeky, so we're going to help her put the astrology into layman's terms that you can all understand. <laughs> yes, thank you, Gussie and Geezer. So this full moon on August 29th is actually a super full moon because it's at perigee, its closest approach to the Earth. Supermoons generate stronger gravitational and electromagnetic pulls on Earth, triggering harder on the Earth's tides and tectonic plates. Huh? I'm Rocco Pounda, and the only plate I care about is my dinner plate. <laughs> Thank you, Rocco. But the reason why this full moon is particularly significant is because the sun conjuncts Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion, while the moon conjuncts Neptune, the planet of compassion and understanding. Eh, uh, why should I care? Those planets are really far away. Well, Jupiter and Neptune only oppose like this once every 13 years. The last time it happened was in 2002. I'm Beatrice Brigg. I'm the head waitress over at the Stew and Chew in Haversville. And that all sounds very significant to me. Will more people be coming into my diner? Well, full moons can point to extremes, so you never know. This full moon will highlight the theme of 2016, which is the year of purification. It's the year of purging, cleansing, and healing our bodies. So it sounds like it's really time for us to get our reacts together and really get down to business. You know, with our search for health and wellness. Yes, we are at a massive shift point. This full moon could really magnify our psychic abilities and our empathy as well as our yearning for escapism and fantasy. That sounds pretty good, because I got plenty of fantasies, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, I know I've had the wish that some of the Zephram Gates characters could become more well-known by others, so I hope this forecast helps. That's right. We don't want to just be stuck inside a book all the time. And now, with Venus making a trine to Uranus, we really have the potential to break free into new territory. Well, uh, that sounds pretty unconventional to me. Well, yes, Skeezer. It does favor the original and the unique. So I encourage everybody to break free and allow greater joy into your lives. For me, that would be sailing the seas with my new girlfriend, Gussie Guler. <laughs> oh, he just makes my heart go pitter-patter. <laughs> the other challenging thing about this Jupiter-Neptune opposition is that it's making a challenging 90-degree angle to Saturn, the planet of discipline, structure, and form. Huh? Squish me! What the heck does that mean? Well, this big T-square with Saturn will be going on for much of 2016, challenging us to be authentic and express our true natures. It's really time for you to just let go of things that are not for you. Hmm. Well, I think I could let go of a few extra pounds. <laughs> it is a year of self-improvement. All right, Trish. I don't think people can absorb any more of this hoo-ha. 
Yeah, thanks for the forecast. Me and my little lady are gonna go on quite the voyage. <laughs> oh, geezer. <laughs> and that concludes this full moon forecast with Trisha Real, The Real Deal. <laughs>